We'll be continuing some of the ver verses of blessings that Moses prophesied concerning not just blessings but also some truth of the coming future concerning these tribes of Israel or the sons of Jacob. So, on Deuteronomy chapter 33, we ended a while ago uh, to uh, in Levi. Now let's go to oh, oh, Benjamin. The beloved of the Lord. Now number 5, you find on verse 13, Joseph. Joseph has no tribe. Uh, his, his inheritance was divided into his two sons. So uh, Joseph is not a part of the tribe of Israel, but his sons were mentioned or counted as parts of it, which is uh, Ephraim and Manasseh. Okay, so uh, on chapter 33, verse 13, or end of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep that couches beneath, and for the precious fruits for, brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon, and for the chief things of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of put forth but, uh, of the lasting hills. Verse number 16. And for the precious things of the earth, full as there are, for the good will of him that dwell in the bush, let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. His glory is like the firstlings of his mullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. And there are the ten thousand of Ephraim, and there are the thousands of Manasseh. So you find here that these two tribes of Israel, Ephraim and Manasseh, were blessed by the Lord with numbers. Manasseh had two, uh, two properties, one in the west side of Jordan and one on the east side. And were, they were indeed blessed numerically in Israel. The descendants of this one son, Manasseh, among twelve sons of Jacob, were far more numerous than all the other tribes. Okay, po yung bilang ng kanyang population. Uh, or Ephraim. And then, Ephraim and Manasseh, their numbers. So, sabi niya dito, 10,000 of Ephraim and thousands of Manasseh. This fulfilled Jacob's prophecy in Genesis chapter 49 verse 22. Where he said, Jacob said by Moses, the book of Genesis 49 22, Joseph is a fruitful bow. A fruitful bow. Let's check that. Genesis chapter 49, verse 22. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run half over the wall. Malago, magiging malago na parang halaman ano itong si Joseph. He had two sons and they both have inheritance by the Lord. And next also, after Joseph, um, were, uh, mentioned where Sebulun and Issachar. Sebulun and Issachar. It's on verse 18 to 19. Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 18 and 19. The Bible says, ready, read. And of, basahin po natin lahat. Ready, go. And of Sebulun, he said, Rejoice, Sebulun, in thy going out, and Isaac are in thy tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain, there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of the treasures hid in the sand. Both the tribes of Sebulun, the last part of Joshua, is when Joshua fulfilled what Moses' words swear, commanded by God, sa division, sa inheritance of the land. Hindi ko alam kung medyo makikita niyo, kung medyo malama, but look at Sebulun at saka si Isaacar. You know what's in the middle of Sebulun and Isaacar? Kasi ang sabi niya dito, sabi niya dito sa verse na binasa natin, For they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of the treasure hidden in the sand. Iba na sa gitna sila. Do you know what's inside that? Yes, just real is there. What's in the middle of Sebulun and Isaacar? The Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee is in that part. Ano? Hindi lang, kasi yun yung division of the land. But in the midst of that, is the Sea of Galilee located. Ano ho? So, ayan po ay 
uh, pinakinabangan ng dalawang tribe, okay? And and uh, both the tribes of Zebulun and Issachar were in the Galilee region and were blessed to take advantage of the Sea of Galilee. It is also called the Sea of Chinneret, okay? At at, at yung po yung Sea of Galilee. This is also Genesaret, yung Galilee. Ah, sea of Tiberias, yeah, the Sea of Tiberias, Sea of Galilee, same si po yun. Yung po yung nasa gitna ni Sebulun at Isaacar, okay po? And also Gad, G-A-D, Gad. And ano sabi kay Gad, verse 20 and 21? And, and of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlarged Gad, he dwelleth as a lion, and a tear, and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. And he provided the first part for himself, because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated. And he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgment with Israel. He dwells as a lion. The lion-like character of the tribe of Gad was shown by the fact that Gad furnished many fine troops for David. During 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 14, you can find it out. This is in fulfillment of Jacob's words in Genesis 49:19 that he shall triumph at last. Gad. Next is Dan. Dan is on verse 22. Dan, verse 22. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's well. He shall leap from Bashan. Now, this may not be a complimentary phrase. History records that Dan was a troublesome tribe. Okay, pa? They were the tribe to introduce idolatry in Israel. In the book of Judges, you find it out. Judges 18. Jeroboam set up one of his idolatrous golden calves in Dan. 1 Kings chapter 12, verses 26 to 30. And later, Dan became a center of idol worship in Israel. Indeed, Jacob said of Dan, can you open your Bibles to Genesis chapter 49, verse 17. That shall be a serpent, by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse heel so that his rider shall fall backward. Medyo may masamang purpose niya at it was fulfilled during the history of Dan in Israel's history. Ano po? And then next is Naphtali. Naphtali. I also, he was also called, he shall live from Bashan. Ang, may, may, meron pong grupo ng mga Danites that, that, that uh, migrated from south to the north. Uh, ang inheritance nila is down south. We can see the, the uh, the map. Ayun, nakita niyo si Dan sa baba. Yun, sa baba ni Ephraim. That is under Ephraim. The south, southern part of Ephraim is Dan's. But he went to the north place. Sila po ay nag-migrate sa northern part. Ano po? And it says, it might be that the tribe of Dan, uh, it might be the word from Bashan is really to Bashan. Sabi niya dito, uh, Moses' reference to Bashan is a region in northern Israel, prophetically anticipated this migration. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, yung po yung tribe of Dan. Number 9, si Naphtali, full of the blessing of the Lord. Verse 23, chapter 33, verse 23. Of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of the Lord. Possess thou the west and the south. Okay, Paul? So, Naphtali's land was in a key portion near the Sea of Galilee, the region where Jesus did much of his teaching and ministry. No wonder Moses says this tribe is full of blessing of the Lord, and that Jacob said of Naphtali in 49.21 that he gives goodly words. Ayan. These are just possibilities of this prophecy ano, na, na, na ibigay po ni Moses sa kanila, including also the ones that were mentioned by Jacob in the book of Genesis, which Moses as well have written, ano, or has written. Si Moses din ang nagsunat. Asher. Asher is verse 24 and 25. And of Asher, he said, let Asher be blessed with children, let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. 
Thy shoes should be iron and brass, and as the day so shall thy strength be. So Asher is most blessed of sons. The abundance of the tribe of Asher was also expressed by Jacob in chapter 49, verse 20. Out of Asher his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Pagyayamanin ang lahi ni Asher. So these are some of the blessings that Moses uh, 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 prophesied and told Israel before his farewell, before his death. Okay, Paul. And the conclusion is, was, happy are ye, Israel. Happy are ye, Israel. It's on Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse number uh, 26 to 29. Yeah. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, Know that already at Jeshurun is Israel, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee. O people, oh people, saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. All in all, including the bad things that happen and the, 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 the evil things that would experience by certain individual tribe, all in all, Israel is a blessed nation. A gifted nation with God, the true God, as their God, as their sword, as their shield, as their provider. I know they are different, they are chosen and said, Happy art thou, O Israel. Okay, Paul? So you know blessing that just sa pamamagitan ni Moises, and at the last part, the last part of Deuteronomy, the last part of the Pentateuch, the last part of Moses' words. Ano? Kanina, yung trivia, tama yun. Nakaapak si Moses sa promise na, kaya lang kanunuwa pa lang siya. <laughs> it's just a soul when he entered there. And it is, was in the transfiguration of the man. Ano? But during this time, he was about to die, Later, we will be studying uh, uh, yung mga nangyari po sa kanya. Especially in the New Testament, we can find reference on how Moses was buried. Uh -oh. at, at, at makikita natin dito that even Satan tried to do something with his bones. Okay? But God indeed put Moses in a secret tomb. Okay po? Walang makakalam. It was God himself who buried Moses. That's why he died. Because his, the Bible says he was buried. And so the Bible tells us, verse 5, So Moses, are you there? So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor, but no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Nobody knows. There are some speculations and on why God did not allow the bones of Moses to be found. He might be worshipped. You know, he might be worshipped by the people of Israel. That's why his bones were hidden. Until today, there are people who are followers of Moses and not the Lord Jesus. And these are the Judaizers. The people of Israel that do not believe us in Christ as their Messiah. He was buried and Moses was how many years old? 100 and 20 years old. So it is so easy to divide to divide Moses' life. 40 years where he did where he grew. The first 40 years is in Egypt. The next 40 years. And the last 40 years is in the wilderness. Oh, you mean yung family life niya yun, and doon siya kinausap sa burning bush, which is also doon sa Mount Sinai. Ano? And then 40 years, the last part of his life, walking around through the wilderness. Okay, Paul? So, the Bible tells us, verse number 9, verse 8, the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab. 30 days they went for his bed. Verse 9. And Joshua, verse 7, not I already read. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force gone down or abated. 
That means, hindi siya nang hina. Alam ka siya talagang pinuwala lang siya ng Panginoon. Okay po? And verse 9 says, And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses. So knowing he's the second man, and on chapter 1, we find that God was really indeed putting Joshua as the leader of Israel, confirming his leadership, God talking with him, be strong and have a good courage. So might be Joshua was the one who wrote chapter 34, or it could still be Moses, because we know that Moses was talking by God and telling and, and writing what God says to him. But there are times in the Bible where compilers would add the death of these uh, writers. And so maybe some says it might be Ezra or Samuel or Joshua, the son of God, including the book of Joshua he wrote. So, makikita natin dito that Joshua was with him. And verse 10 ended De De Deuteronomy and to verse 12. Ready? Read. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses. Whom the Lord knew face to face. God was fellowshipping with him. God was talking with him all the words on the mountain. In all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt. To Pharaoh and to all his servants to all his land. And in all that mighty hand and in all that great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. And that ended the Pentateuch. The death of Moses is the last chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. Okay pa? So I hope marami tayong natutunan for the past months that we studied Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy.